Spain because they had the legal margin in the law to defend the right to grow for own use. And they said, well, some people want to use cannabis, they cannot grow, so it's normal they give the mandate to others to do this for them. And uh, the, 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 the association of uh, cannabis growers and consumers starts for the first time a closed circuit to uh, bring cannabis from producers to consumers in a healthy way, in a safe way, in a transparent way that um, everybody normally has the, has the access, should have the access to cannabis as a product that, that does well to this person. He should know to grow it by himself. If he can't, he should be able to get it from other people in a way as if he would have grown it himself. So it should not be manipulated, it should not be uh, unreasonable, expensive, uh, it should be a clean product. These clubs, these initiatives have started in Spain, have fought uh, the law and have been acquitted in the end. Uh, since 2005, they have grown into what is now, uh, some people say 900 clubs in Spain, some people say 450. In between those two, we have clubs in Spain. And then you see that the whole club ID uh, starts to evolve. People make use of this opportunity to make their own interpretation of what is a club and uh, yeah, give it uh, a, a more commercial uh, uh, outlook and uh, basis. Uh, and the whole concept of a club, an association that demands an internal democracy, that demands an internal transparency, that the members should be able at all times know what the, the management is doing and what the club is, is really consisting of. If that's not the case, then it's maybe because there is something to be hidden. If that's the case, then nothing is to be hidden and the club is working as a club. So in the end, I think everything, as long as it is transparent, will um, make sure that there is a, a, a healthy way, of uh, a safe way of uh, approaching this, this thing. Anyway, in Spain you see that there is a commercial type of club and there is the basic cooperative kind of club and there are maybe many many small groups of people who just have a network of friends that use the term club in, or, in order to organize the, the circuit that I already had for a long time and yeah which have existed for a long time and now exist a little bit more legal so the funny thing is that this is going on in Spain very quickly in 10 years 12 years this phenomenon has, has, has grown but very quickly afterwards other countries also started to develop their own uh, concept of a club in Belgium a cannabis social club functions since 2006 well after struggling with the law being acquitted two times uh, before the court, they really started to. Uh, we really started to grow uh, since 2010. We have 300 members now, and we are able to produce around 30 kilos of cannabis for the members to to, to consume on an annual basis. And we are growing until we think now it's not funny anymore. It's too big. Now really, others should do it, and. Uh, we, of course, we are already hoping and we are promoting other people to make other clubs which they can do in Belgium. In France, people are uh, uh, using the term cannabis social club to, to defy the law and to say here we are, we are a group of citizens that we have an alternative to your policy. Your policy is prohibition. We have an alternative that could work much better, more effective. What will you do against it when we as citizens claim the right for own use and we make this association? It's very brave that these people now stand forward and see how the law will react. 
There are 425 different groups saying that they're willing to unite in a coordination that will be launched in March this year. Uh, and then we will see what, uh, what will happen. In Italy, uh, several groups in several cities have expressed their will to set up a first cannabis social club in their uh, town. Uh, in one town in the south of Italy, a club has been launched with the support of the local Lord Mayor. Um, the central government will have to react and will have to see what they do and it's it's not sure there will be elections next week but it's possible that the next the next government is of a center left nature and they will sort of tolerate it in a combination of socialist and catholic good-hearted uh, 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 way especially to the patients that use cannabis for medical reasons then in slovenia people are working on a, a, a first experience uh, to see how it can work in, within the Slovenian legislation. In Czech Republic there is a access to medic medical cannabis products now in the pharmacies so there's a group of people putting up a cannabis social club or st starting the idea for a cannabis social club uh, to claim the rights of these people or of, of patients to grow by themselves. And then we see uh, in Facebook, we see many things happening in the UK. Uh, we, see, we see things happening in Germany. Uh, but it is, of course, one thing to put the self, to put an initiative on Facebook than to do it in real, to really make an association with a name, with an address that can be contacted and that can be uh, hold re accountable for, for, for what it says. And uh, that is uh, to hope that in the UK, in Germany, in other countries, those people who want to try to see this, con to, to see how this concept can be adapted in their country uh, in a serious way, in a responsible way, create this alternative for the illegal market and to say we don't need the politicians anymore. We, as citizens, take the responsibility to work out a model that, according to us, is safer and healthier. Then you can count on the support of, of NCOT. Uh, in all ways, we will help you uh, developing the, the concept to uh, maybe contact other people, support you in all ways we can. And uh, we hope that in every country soon there will be a coordination of, uh, of, of people working towards this concept. We have seen in Spain, in France, in Belgium, every time again, that uh, the media are working, are reacting quite positively to this. They think uh, it's an interesting, uh, so curious uh, way of uh, approaching the whole drug uh, issue. And uh, you can turn uh, this, this, this sympathy uh, into a clear um, image change modification of the stigma that is around drugs. Uh, you can say we are against uh, trafficking, we are against making money, we are against manipulation of, uh, of drugs, of drug users. We are people who want to have a clean, healthy, safe way of organizing production, distribution and consumption without that anybody has to manipulate it. And that uh, is an answer, that is a model that no politician can argument against because he would be seen as a defender of the mafia. Ay, 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 you said no speeches. Mm.